Hey guys, so we are here today to talk a little bit more in depth about stapling your electric wires. So the reason that we staple electric wires to begin with is in the ceiling, so they're not just like hanging down in your way when you're doing drywall on the ceiling. And similarly, so they're not just kind of bouncing around inside your wall. So really the main goal is just to secure it to keep the wire kind of nice and next to your posts. It's not the technical term for them, but everybody knows what I mean, studs. All right, so with that, we, by experience, discovered, um, you know, I mean, there are probably even more ways to, to secure your staple, but there is definitely a way that works well and a way that works not so well and could result um, in shorting your wire. So first, we will demo the way you should secure your wire with your staple. I'll also make note that we have staples that don't have any little phalanges, but now we know for future we will be purchasing some of those because those help you know exactly where to stop dr driving your staple in. So with that, we'll put our staple here, we'll take our trusty hammer, kind of drive that in somewhat secure and then I can kind of move my hand for the rest of my stick. So oh, now I'm moving my wood. Uh, so around about this point is where I start to kind of keep checking my wire. So make sure that there's a little bit of movement. And once it kind of starts to feel a little snug, I might give it one or two more and that's that's about it. So it's not dropping down on its own, but it's also not pinched. So next, let's talk about how not to staple your electric wire. So I'll be demonstrating to you what not to do and how to not drive your staple because I was the one who goofed it up first on this house and actually had a couple wires short out that had to go down and strip out and repair. Um, so yes, as you can see, as Rachel did before, beautiful how it slides up and down. What you don't want to do is take your staple and put it through the wire. That's a bad idea. Didn't do that one at least. And do something called overdriving. So. This is what an overdriven staple looks like. It comes through and it pinches all the way through the protection and guards on this wire. And what's really bad about this is it actually might not be an issue at first. It might be an issue in a week, in a month, in a few years. As people are going down there and doing work, they move it around and they bump the wire and they bump the wire and it keeps moving back and forth and it keeps wearing a little bit more and more and more through that little space. So, now with this nicely overdriven staple, we're gonna see what it actually looks like when it does short out. So, Next time you are doing your home remodel or building your new house and it's time for the electrical to get put in that you are doing yourself, you will know not to overdrill your staples and keep those wires happy. So thanks for joining us.